Hey you guys and thank you for watching my channel. This week is going to be super super cool. I'm going to give you three business partnerships that you should think about when for 2019. I love to look at what businesses are doing not just in fashion or travel or whatever and this is actually budgets in business this is a part of the series for budgets and business um but i always always like to look at what other industries are doing because it piques my attention of how the economy is doing in anything in business you have to know how the economy is doing you have to know what's happening in the world as far as from a finance point of view i mean if banks are going broke little or before you know it entrepreneurs might be the first ones that kind of take the you know cut the first the first maybe about the first ones um medium-sized businesses and larger corporations of course they have backing and all that stuff so it's super important to know that but this year, it's really important to kind of partnership with three types of businesses. And when I mean partnership, I mean three main reasons why you should partner with. The first one would be some type of a nonprofit, um, not just because of tax purposes, but um, you'll learn a lot from nonprofits and a nonprofit that kind of works with your heart and kind of goes with your brand and your business and what you what you guys are um, kind of like within the same realm per se. So look for a nonprofit this year that you can partner with. Um, look with for one that might need that extra umph. Maybe you can promote them, they can promote you, but at the same time, partner with them. Volunteer, be embedded into that nonprofit because there's a lot that you can learn from nonprofits. Um, again, the whole nonprofit aspect of that business is because they don't make for profit. So they're not having a product or service or whatever that case is so it's it's their business model might teach you something the second thing is a business that will help you learn um and i think i don't know if i did this correct okay um a business that will help you learn could be someone that's completely opposite i would literally just come up with a list of businesses that you might say hmm I really want to learn more about manufacturing or I really want to learn more about oil and gas or something that's pertaining to your business. Again, this can be anything um, or children or elderly people and connect with the business again, volunteer, connect with the business that you can learn from something that you're going to get just from learning, not just the nonprofit is more for, you know, giving your time and understanding their business model. Um, because that's important because it's nonprofit. But the second one is more of a learning experience. It's more of a how do they run their business and why do they run this, their business this way? Why do they have all these types of, you know, departments or um, marketing techniques or why they hire to put billboards up like or maybe they don't or maybe they don't do any type of social media. Maybe they do word of mouth. Maybe maybe they do um, old fashioned direct marketing, which is not even heard of anymore in this digital world. But many businesses, very few are doing them. So you never know, like you might want to look into that. So the second one is a business that will teach you something brand new and again complete opposite and then the third one is connect with the business where you can have fun you know you ever thought of maybe dibbling or dabbling in a product or service within your business or um and you're not sure how to dibble and dabble in it but you kind of want to have your feet and like hmm, i'm interested in that do that it might even be sparking an interest of a new hobby or something that is completely different from what you do but in a business perspective Kind of pick your attention to see, hmm, do I ever want to add this in my business again? Would it be something that would work with my business model? Because what happens, it will teach you something that you don't want to do, or it might teach you something new about your target market. Overall, all of these businesses and all these ideas that I'm giving you is going to open up a door for a new type of customer, meaning a new, a new list or a new, uh, new open-mindedness of how people are buying um, a new habits, new behaviors. So take that in consideration with these three tips of the three types of businesses that you should connect with in this year. Um, and again, I know it's really surface, but if you do have any questions, you can email me at hello at dear got to read there yet.com. 
Again, you check out the podcast every single Tuesday. We have a new podcast show and a new video up. Like I said, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just putting stuff out here to help and, of course, to kind of, you know, get the conversation going through all the different series of budgets and business, um, passion to empower, and, of course, self-growth. So thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great year.